welcome back to my channel. Max, do you wanna be up here? Oh, he's just wanting to play. I am so excited for today's video. Today we are redoing my dining room. <sighs> I'm so excited. So the reason that we're redoing it is we have a huge, huge dining table. I took before footage. I'll go ahead and show it to you right here. Ironically enough, it made a lot more sense in our studio because we had a separate dining area, even though that spot was much smaller. In our current apartment, there's no official dining area and it's so clunky, hard to walk around. So we got a whole new dining set and it's being delivered literally any minute. 30 minutes ago, they texted me that they're gonna be here in 30 minutes. And I wanna record the process of unboxing it and getting it set up. And then together we can style it and just have such a cheery, happy video. I'm so excited. This dining set is from Castlery. This video is not sponsored, but this was gifted by them. And I have lusted after this brand on Instagram for forever. They have the cutest things. Their furniture is such high quality. And I genuinely think this bed's pretty good. But besides this bed, this is our first actual adult piece of furniture or set of furniture. Everything I buy is very, very cheaply made and usually lasts about a year before something breaks. That's my fault. So I'm excited to have something quality, something that will last me a lifetime. This is gonna be a timeless, gorgeous, beautiful piece, the most stunning dining tables, and I got a gorgeous mirror from them too. I just cannot wait. Okay. I am so excited, Max! They're gonna be here any second, and they are also incredible, and they're doing in-home delivery for us, so we don't have to go figure out how to bring our heavy, heavy furniture up the stairs in our apartment. Let's get this show on the road. We have cleared out our dining table. One of my friends took it off our hands. And so I'm excited that that has a new home. Look at all of the space that we now have and the delivery guys are going to drop this off any minute. Oh my word, okay, I'm ready. The first box is here. I think it's the tabletop. Oh my word, everything is here. There is one, two, three, four. Five big boxes. I thought it was gonna be such an ordeal. I was expecting it to take a long time, but the guys were incredible. They were very clean, in and out, wearing masks, wearing gloves, it just dropped and delivered everything within a total of literally three minutes, which is incredible. I'm so excited to start unboxing this and putting it all together. So I hope you are ready to enjoy a fun little montage of me unboxing these, assembly, putting it together, seeing what's in what box, there's no better time for a, for a project than quarantine and this is a life-size puzzle and I'm very excited to tackle it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and The best news ever. The chairs are already completely built. They're just wrapped very, very securely like a big old Christmas present. Every other time that I've ordered chairs in the past online, they've come in pieces. <laughs> So I was expecting to have to completely build these chairs from scratch. This is gonna go so much faster than I expected. I just gotta take these out of the box and unwrap them like it's Christmas. Sick. <laughs> Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I, let me figure out where the road goes. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my high. We got the table put together. In hindsight, it's so easy. Turn the tabletop upside down and then you just place the bottom on with the rods and then screw it real quick, flip it back over and it's good to go. And the reason I love this table, well, a couple of reasons, and I picked this table is the top of it is really nice and bright and reflective. And there's a lot of like dark heaviness in this place. There's not a lot of natural light. The floors are really, really dark. So I try to pick things that are like as light and reflective and airy as possible. Our last dining table was all just dark wood, top and bottom. So it didn't really help with the issue. I think this looks really good with our white couch and the fact that it bounces a little bit of the sunlight from our window just makes it feel more open and airy. And another thing that I love is the base of this table does not have table legs. So traditionally this seats four, but if we ever wanted to squeeze in an extra chair, there's not that awkward thing where one person's sitting where a table leg is. So it's much more versatile and I think it looks sleek and gorgeous and look at how much easier it is to walk around this. Are you ready? 
there, so much space to walk around. It feels so much better. This like makes so much more sense. I'm gonna make a really quick iced matcha latte and then we're going to unwrap these beautiful chairs that I'm so excited about. I have always wanted one of those like gorgeous, almost mid-century sling back chairs. Oh, and these are gonna be so beautiful. I can't wait to see them in real life. Be back with my matcha. Got a nice big matcha latte. It was full to here, but I already drank that much. And let's see what these chairs look like, shall we? I'm so excited. I've been saving this until after I cleaned up the boxes because it was my, my reward, is matcha and chairs. Let's take a look. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep- Oh my goodness, it's so cute! This looks so good and it's gonna look so good with the table. Should we give it a sit test? Oh yeah! His armrests even! It's so good, right? He's so good. Oh yeah, this is nice. I could get used to this. I could get used to this. Wanna come sit with me? Oh yeah. This is a good dining table and chair. Good stuff. Okay, I'm going to unwrap the rest of the chairs and we will put them all at the table. Then we'll take a look at the mirror and then we will style everything and do the final reveal. How's that sound? How's that sound? I think he's pooped. The fun part's just now starting. Okay, now you're ready. Let's go, let's do it. I'm so in love with these chairs. Let's get these put out around the table, see what it looks like. Then we have one more thing to unbox and it is that gorgeous mirror. And then we can get this place in order, get this place all styled and looking gorgeous. And I'm just, I'm so excited. It looks so good. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, mirror time. I have never been more obsessed with a mirror in my life. This is a big boy. <laughs> he is gorgeous. And I love this kind of like inset glass with this golden curved frame. It's absolutely stunning. My long-term plan for him is on this side where I have my keyboard. I actually think I'm going to completely redo that area in an upcoming video. But until then, let's take a look on the other side behind me at my fireplace because I think he's gonna make that area look so stunning. So when you walk in, your first impression will be seeing the table and then right above it, seeing the fireplace. So behind me, our fireplace is the focal point. Like I said, when you look past our dining table, you see this right above it. And there's this beautiful golden lamp to the right of it. So I think that this is gonna look stunning just sitting on the mantle. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the artwork that we have up here for now and set this stunning thing I think it looks stunning. Especially the wallpaper behind it was a little bit busy, so I think that this helps break it up, helps to bounce the sunlight over on this half of the house, which as I mentioned, is a little too dark for my liking. And now I think we should go ahead and set up the dining table, stage it, make it look beautiful. And we can see what that first impression looks like when we walk in the door. So you walk in the home and this is the first thing you see with the gorgeous Linus mirror up there. Oh, I love it. Now let's style the top of the tabletop as if we're hosting a dinner party, just because I feel like that's always a really beautiful way to see what the table looks like and feels like is when you're gonna have guests over to sit and dine around the heart of your home, which is your dining table. So, a couple decor things. I think that against this beautiful glass top, it's really fun to play with some more like rustic feelings. This is obviously very, very clean and modern. So I'm going to warm it up with something that feels a little more rustic, a little bit antique -y, and that's gonna kind of help confine the salt and pepper shakers and the greenery that we put on the table into one spot. I also like playing with something that's a little more rigid and structured, like a rectangle, with something that is so fluid like a circle. I think it's a nice juxtaposition there. And the vase that I used to have on my dining room table used to be white uh, to kind of balance out that dark, dark table, but since this table is white, I got something super fun. I wanted to play around with the lightness of it. I didn't want to necessarily go too dark, but I didn't want to do white on white. So I got this kind of like clear antique blue vase that I think is so pretty. And to go in it, just to bring some life, I have some faux greenery. This is going to bring some height, some color, some liveliness. 
I would love to use real greenery, but as y'all know, we can't go out and leave the house right now. So I just ordered these online. So some greenery that could be shipped to me to make this feel lively. And as mentioned, I think I'm gonna grab my salt and pepper shaker and put it inside this little container as well. So now it doesn't feel like there's a million things on the table. Since it's all within this one dish, it feels much more intentional. Instead of like greenery, salt and pepper, plates, blah, blah, blah. It's all here. But I do wanna actually set the table with some plates. So yeah, again, playing with the light versus dark. A lot of my plates are white, but I got these in mind just for the table. I love how this is a matte finish because that is balancing to the very, very shiny glass tabletop of this. And then obviously something dark really, really pops on the table. So I'm gonna go around and put this at each of the place settings. And last but not least, those plates are pretty masculine. So I want to try to make them slightly more feminine with a nice, pretty blush napkin on top. It's gonna make that not feel so overwhelmingly dark as well. Instead, there's just gonna be a little hint of the dark around the edges, but the blush napkin on top helps to break that up a little bit. So the effect is there without it being overwhelming, which <laughs> I'm very glad about. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my final product of I'm having my friends over for a dinner party vibe. If I were to actually set the table, this is how I would style this table. And as I mentioned, you walk in and you see this and it draws your eye all the way back to the fireplace with the Linus mirror and it's just the most beautiful thing. And I've never been more excited about a redo in my house in my whole life. So let's take a final look at the footage of before and after. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Thank you so much for watching from both Max and I. This is the best, like most fun way to spend time at home is doing little house projects and home redos. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other like interior design focused videos that you would like for us to do, let us know. I have one other one in the works at the moment and a third concept that I haven't told Brooke about yet that I might want to try to do also. <laughs> Thank you Castle Reef for sending over the most gorgeous products. I'm absolutely obsessed. You're incredible. I'll go ahead and link these exact products down below in case you're interested and we love you with our absolute whole hearts. Yes. <laughs> we hope you have the best rest of your day and we'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.